Hey everyone, this is Terry. This is the first video in a series talking about the My Custom Stitch function that is built into your Luminaire. It's also included with the Dream Machine and some other Brother Machines. We'll go into Sewing. We'll go to Character and Decorative Stitch menu. Then we'll see the My Custom Stitch feature. I'll use my mouse. You can see it right here. It looks like a series of dots. And one of the things you no notice is you have graph paper. You get this graph paper also with your machine. Here it is here. There are grid sheets, and here is the reorder number for it. These sheets are 7 millimeters wide and 35 millimeters in length, the, the graph it, the paper itself. So if you wanted to create a stitch, and let's say you were doodling, and you were just making an E, what you could do is you could plot all these points and whatever is the XY coordinate at that point based on the values across the top and along the side, those would be your XY coordinates that you use to create your stitch. So let's look at a stitch and how it's formed. Here's an example of one. And you can see this particular stitch at the first stitch, number one, was at zero, zero. Number two is at three, five. This is on the vertical axis and horizontal. Stitch three is at five, eight. Now I've already created this stitch. What I'm going to do is zoom in so you can see this. We'll retrieve that stitch by going in to the pocket and we'll find the stitch in the pocket. And here it is right here. So we'll choose okay. You can use the arrow keys to move to the beginning of that stitch. This is telling you there are 30 points that are plotted to form this stitch. The first is at zero, zero. That shows you the stitch right here. Now we'll go to the second stitch. This is at point, point two at three fives. So here's three, five. Point three will be at five eight. Let's look at that. So we'll go to the next one. That's five eight. So as you continue around your stitch, you can see how your stitch is playing out. And as we near the end, this is at, at point 3711, and that's number 27. Let's look at that. Number 27 is right here, and that's 3711. All right, so this gives you an idea of how the stitches form. Look at test. This is how it'll sew out. You can zoom in just like you can with, with stitches, and you can zoom in, change the color so you can see it, and you can try the stitches out. You can also adjust it. You can't go beyond seven millimeters on, on the width. You can see that I can't do that, but I can make it narrower or I can go back to the seven millimeters. I can make it shorter. I can make it longer and I can also adjust my tension. The default value when this was created, you notice this is 15.7 millimeters and that is right here at the, this is the width of 15.7 millimeters. So when that stitch is formed, you can save it to memory. You can look at it as a singular stitch or you can look at it in multiples. What we'll do is we'll choose return, we'll choose okay, we'll go back in and we'll look at this again in the view so that you can actually see it. And let me show you how stitches form. So I can take my finger, right now I'm at zero, zero. I can set a point. I've already created my first stitch. Let's just say that I moved down to about five millimeters and I set another point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and set another point. Every place I touch, this is a point I'm setting and I'm not really worrying about what this stitch looks like. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you can do to create a stitch. Now I don't like my last point, so I'll choose point delete. That takes me back. Let's move it back here and let's choose set. I want to go back to that previous point and it which is let's go to the beginning and see where it 
where it is plotted. I want to get back to 14, 0. So let me move through this pattern. And now what I want to do is move this down till I'm at 0. And let's move back to 14. And I'll choose Set. Now we'll go back and we'll add another stitch. And we'll choose Set. Let's choose Test. I've created my first stitch. Maybe this is a leaning golf tee or maybe it's a pipe, who knows. But you can see how we formed our first stitch. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to edit these stitches. I'll also show you how to use some of the stitches that are built into the machine and how you can combine them. But if you want to save this stitch, this would be a good time to choose memory and save it. You can save it to the USB stick or you can save it on your machine. We'll choose return and let's just go back and, and confirm that it's there. So we'll go and retrieve it. It will be right here in this pocket and we'll find that stitch. Now you will find these stitches are also going to be in the memory pocket for your decorative stitches. But what you will not see is that you you will not be able to bring your decorative stitches that you created, the custom stitches, over into this pocket. So I can now see that stitch right here. I'll select it, choose OK. And if I want to add more to it at this time, I can do so. I hope this lesson's been helpful to you. I'm Terry Maffitt. This is lesson one in my custom stitch. You can join me in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with a Brother Luminaire. Thanks and have a great day.